The North American Overwatch Contenders League finished for the month of October and through four nail-biting map victories in the competition's best of seven grand finals, the upper bracket dominators Redbird Esports claimed what was rightfully theirs for a second month in a row. Outrunning the competition at every corner, Redbird Esports damage player Hydron gave Tracer a great deal of playtime in the grand finals, taking advantage of her maneuverability and fast fire rate. Core to Tracer's kit is her Blink, a small range dash that can be used in any direction to dodge incoming fire and get up close and personal. Blink gave Hydron the option to move in and out of combat. With a single button press, Tracer could dash around the map with three charges of the short range teleport. If a faster retreat was required, Hydron turned back time with Recall. The ability returned him to the exact location he was at three seconds ago and renewed Tracer's health to the highest value during those three seconds. Tracer's iconic pulse bomb tore through the members of Uprising Academy. At 100% charge, Hydron stuck a devastating explosive to an enemy player. This dealt massive area-based damage to all Uprising players close by. The pulse bomb could also inflict damage to Hydron, so it was imperative that he recalled or blinked out of harm's way before the bomb went off. Redbird Esports' second damage teammate, 59mm, collected enemy heroes one after the other on the robotic danger from the air, Echo. Whether veering out of harm's way or looking for an aerial advantage, 59mm could take to the skies with Echo's flight ability. This opened up a plethora of terrain and height advantages on every map, which became extremely useful for both attacking or defending. Following up with a volley of sticky bombs, 59mm could attach up to six explosive projectiles to a target that detonated soon after impact. This severe amount of burst damage could drop most heroes in seconds if all six sticky bombs find their target. When Academy Uprising players tried to retreat with minimal life, Echo's focus beam came into play to finish the job. This beam of energy nuked down enemy heroes who were under half health. This execute brutally punished heroes who strayed too far from their healers. Warping into a clone of a target enemy hero, Echo's ultimate duplicate transformed 59mm into an exact copy of the ability's target. During this transformation, 59mm used all the abilities of the chosen hero, including their ultimate, which in the right situation proved to be the difference between success or failure for the Redbird Esports squad. Swinging from fight to fight, Redbird Esports tank player Reyna was causing havoc on the popular Wrecking Ball, an unstoppable force with the power of speed and objective control. With the Grappling Claw, Wrecking Ball became one of the most mobile heroes in the game of Overwatch. Reyna was able to latch onto a hard surface in order to swing from location to location. When coming into contact with an enemy player, they would be thrown far out of position and take minor damage. Following up with Wrecking Ball's pile driver sent nearby Uprising Academy players flying into the air as Reyna crash landed on top of the pack. When the going got tough, Reyna popped Wrecking Ball's adaptive shield. This temporary defense increased in amount based on how many hostile players were in close proximity to Reyna. The real fun began with Wrecking Ball's ultimate ability, Minefield. Reyna became a master of zoning after he deployed a field of proximity mines around his hero. Enemy players who came into contact with one of these mines were blown sky high as they took a lethal amount of damage. These three fast and dangerous heroes are sure to get you wins in your next match of Overwatch. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.